I'm Elizabeth Speller um, and this is my book, The Return of Captain John Emmett, and I do hope you'll enjoy reading it as much as I enjoy researching it and writing it. Um, I've been doing a bit of research anyway on the First World War and I came across a letter, um, an original letter, and it was from a woman um, whose brother had been executed. He was a young officer. He'd been executed um, in the First World War for cowardice. And it was a letter to the War Office asking if they would rewrite the letter telling her that this had happened, um, not mentioning that he'd been actually executed and just saying he'd been killed because she was so ashamed and she didn't dare show it to her father because she thought, and, and indeed the young man's father, that, he, um, that it would kill the father, the shame of it. Um, and I found it so moving and so emotional. And then I looked up and found only three officers had been executed and from there I started to think about writing a story. I do think it's um, certainly very relevant today. I think we are more conscious of the effects of war on families, on relatives, um, on society as a whole. Um, I think through Iraq that probably changed things a lot and you had a war where quite a lot of people were against the war but almost everybody was fairly sympathetic to the soldiers and their families. I think we're more aware of um, alcoholism, and domestic abuse and mental illness that can come out of um, engagements, violent engagements in war. So I think we still have many of the same problems. The books I'd written before I started writing this novel were about history and travel. And in those, is, there's a tremendous importance in getting a sense of place and the spirit of the, of the place you're talking about. And I found it's exactly the same if you're talking about a period in history. It's important that it should feel right and on the whole, I think that's in the detail. Can someone pick up a telephone? When does a man take off his hat? And all of those things, I think, bring it together to feel real in just the same way as writing about somewhere geographical. I, I, I'm incredibly lucky because I um, own and work in a shepherd's hut, a Victorian shepherd's hut, um, which is a sort of caravan on iron wheels which shepherds in the 19th century took up to look after their flocks in the Cotswolds where I live. Um, mine is very comfortable and has a, a comfortable built-in bed and a desk where I write and it looks down um, a long Cotswold Valley across a stream and woods, um, lots of wildlife, lots of birds, um, a small wood burning stove in winter and it's, it really is absolute paradise down there so um, quite inspiring place to write. My next book um, is The Strange Fate of Kitty Easton and it follows Lawrence who is the hero of the, the return of Captain John Emmett. He's three years further away from the war, it's 1924, um, which is a very interesting year in lots of ways um, in, the, in the world. He goes down to see a friend in the countryside in Wiltshire near Stonehenge um, and finds himself bit by bit becoming embroiled in the mystery of a child who went missing before the war um, and whose fate has never been known. And while he looks at that and deals with that, he's also still coming to terms with his own emergence from the First World War.